everyone, it's the holiday season and I wanted to make a platter. So I went to the dollar store, so I've spent two dollars on a candlestick and a plate. And it's a, it's a good sized glass plate. And what we're going to do is epoxy this together eventually. But first we need to make it look um, Halloween-y. So, and I think that'll be a pretty nice looking platter for Halloween cookies or treats. And what we're going to do is um, we're going to spray paint the bottom. And we're going to do a silhouette underneath here. So we'll get started doing that and I'll show you how we get um, to the finished product. When you've decided what you want to do, you could do a bat, you could do a witch, you could do all kinds of stuff. Um, find something or draw something if you can freehand it, something that would be a nice silhouette on the back of the plate. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, a silhouette of a witch and what we're going to do is we're going to spray paint it orange so the plate will be predominantly orange and then when we take um, take off our our stencil then we're going to have um, we're going to paint the whole thing black and that's when it's going to be filled in with the silhouette so I'll show you how we're going to do that but the first thing you're, on, you're going to need is contact paper which you can find it by the shelf liners at um, you know any of the big box stores so go ahead and do that and all you're going to do is trace it on and then cut it out with scissors. Okay, I've cut out my silhouette um, of the witch that I want to be putting on the back of the plate. And I've cleaned the plate with a glass cleaner and um, made sure that it was dry. Um, and now I have to just peel the witch, which is always a challenge to get this started. Okay, once you get it separated, it peels pretty easily. But you still want to be careful when you're doing it. And then you want to try to place it. I got a little something on there, okay? Um, in the middle. So figure out where you want it before you stick it and stick it down. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Um, and then you're going to want to smooth it down. Now you can, ta you can take a credit card um, to do it, and you really want to get the edges down. So even if you take like a marker, the, you really want to get it adhered to the glass. Um, if you have a bone folder, do that. Okay, I've stuck the, um, the witch on there, so you can see. And I'm trying to be very careful to hold the plate at the edges because I don't want any fingerprints on there before I spray it. And I'm going to take it out to the garage and I'm going to spray paint the whole thing orange. And the only thing you need to know about that is to find um, a spray paint that, that will adhere to glass. Um, make sure the edges of your witch or whatever image you're putting on there um, have been burnished with, you know, a marker, you know, the end of a marker, like I had said before, credit card, whatever is fine. Um, and then go ahead and take it and spray it. And then w after I've done that, I'll come back and um, we'll take the image off and then We'll spray it again and we'll have this great product. But while I go out there, um, I'm going to spray this black because this will be predominantly orange, so I wanted the bottom to be black, so I will spray paint the, the foot black also. Okay, we've reached the next step with the platter. And as you can see, it's all orange and the back is white. And that was not something I had intended on doing. Um, it got very cold here overnight and I don't like to do spray paint in the house. So I still do it out in the garage. It got very cold and my orange spray paint, um, I wanted to do one more coat and the orange spray paint um, stopped working. So nonetheless, I did a quick spray of the white over just to make sure before I put the black on so it looked pretty solid. There's some areas where it might be modeled. It's hard to tell. We'll see when the um, <clears throat> when the black gets on there. So anyhow, now it's time to peel off our stencil. So carefully pull up an edge and I just am using a craft knife to do that. And then very careful 
and pull it off. Now on the edge here, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more, um, I'm going to pull the handle of the broom, I want to start it so I can pull it toward the image instead of having it try to pull toward the end of the broom. Alright, there we go. And then I will do the same thing with the end of the broom. So I'll do that on the edge of the broom. To get it started and then I will pull it. And there is our witch. So I'm going to take it back out to the garage and I'm going to spray the whole thing black. You do have the option of doing this just with acrylic paint as well and and that's okay. If you would rather do it that way that's fine and then you could put like a protective coating, clear coat on the back um, and that's okay. I mean this is going to be a hand washed piece anyway. It's not something that's going to be um, put in the dishwasher. Um, and the top, you know, can be hand washed with you know soap and water so anyhow I'm gonna clean up where I stuck my finger so we don't have any um, any fingerprints underneath on the glass so I'll do that take it out spray it and we'll come back and check it again I'm back to finish the Halloween planter and all we have left to do here is the painted um, candlestick that's gonna be our base and here's the plate and um, I've gone ahead and I also put um, a thick coat of like an outdoor um, polyurethane on here and there's a couple ways that you can um, you can do this you can do a um, like a two-part epoxy um, I would not use like a hot glue um, I'm gonna give this one a try this is a, a glass and metal glue and it says it's water and weather proof so um, super strong and flexible so We'll give this one a try, so that way, figuring, you know, this is not a piece that you put in the dishwasher, but you can hand wash it, and if, like, the glue and stuff gets wet, then um, something like this should be okay. So I'm going to kind of eyeball the center. Open the glue. And I'm going to put, and follow the directions, because sometimes some glues will tell you to put it on both pieces before adhering it, but this one does not require that. So I'm going to put a generous bit on there, and obviously it dries clear because it is clear. Um, so if it seeps out from under, I don't mind because it's underneath and you won't see it anyhow. But I'm going to look over the top, press it down, Make sure it looks like it's in the center. And that is the, the platter. I am going to flip it over. I could leave it this way, but I'd like to flip it over only because that way it'll put a little bit of extra pressure on there as it's drying. So you put that aside to dry um, however many minutes or hours it takes, and then you have this beautiful platter to use for Halloween cookies and snacks and um, it's a little added decoration if you just leave it out. So thank you for watching. I hope you gave it a try um, and think pumpkins, bats, you know any number of different um, things that you can do. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Happy crafting!